Hi everyone, it is Monique, more commonly known as Shimmy Shay, and I just want to say a big hello to all of my shimmers out there. If you are not currently a shimmer, it's super easy to become one. Just go down below and hit subscribe. You could even possibly join the Discord if you want to connect with other people. I've also recently created a Circle on the Circle app, which I will be adding into the description as well for you to have a chance to talk to me and other shifters. We are going to get right into this video of me explaining clones. I've explained clones a couple times. I used to have a series up but i took it down because i feel like the series just confused people more than it helped people we're gonna try this again <laughs> and hopefully i can get it all into one video and explain it well enough for people to understand when you shift and this is mostly based on the multiverse theory so if you're a subconscious theory shifter this just might not be for you i know subconscious theory shifters not all of them even believe in clones so that could just be like out of what your shifting beliefs are in i've personally had experiences with clones and i've met a bunch of other people who have had experiences with clones so i am just going to be telling you the information that i know based off of those experiences when you shift for example, because some people will ask, like, can I shift without a clone? Hypothetically, yes, but no, at the same time. Because when you shift, you're not just, like, appearing in the middle of everything like that. Your DR's already been happening. Like, you already exist there. You're just not aware of it. And that's the entire reason why you want to shift there, so you can be aware of it and experience it and, like, be aware that you are experiencing it. The person that you're going to shift into is called a clone. And a lot of people get confused by this term. I honestly hate the term for it because I feel like it shouldn't be called that at all. But that's like a clone technically as well is your DR self because it's you that you're not aware in that moment. And once you shift to that, your clone is then here, if that makes sense, because you still exist here. You didn't just vanish from this reality when you shifted. That would literally be impossible, you know? It's just, you're not aware. Your clone is going to just be like you, act like you. Your clone is literally you. So you don't have to be like, oh my gosh, what if my clone like goes to work or goes to school and does this crazy thing? I would, it, it would, it will never happen. Your clone is you. I mean, unless you would do that crazy thing, then like maybe you, you do have something to worry about, but, <laughs> but honestly, your clone's just going to act like you. And the worst thing that your clone will do is anything that you would have done in that situation. <laughs> A lot of people ask if you like remember what your clone does i personally didn't really like remember a lot i had like a brief history of it because when you shift you can script in the leva app or the leva journal which will give you play by plays of stuff that is happening in your current reality my leva journal personally just like kind of summarized it very blandly like it would be like i woke up i went to work but back then my secret life wasn't even that interesting so that's probably why I was just like updating very blandly. My life was bland here at the time. I wish it was now sometimes. Your clone could hypothetically, yes, clean your room for you. My my clone has cleaned a little bit of my room, but I, my clone never finished it. So I'm just going to assume that like I got unmotivated and quit. I don't know, but it sounds like me. The room wasn't finished, but it was cleaner when I shifted back. So like my clone obviously cleaned some of it up. Thank you, clone. And I know that the term can be scary, but there's honestly nothing to fear. Your clone is literally just going to be like yourself. I've seen texts that my clone has sent to other people. I literally just sound like nothing. Like, it's just me talking. And another really weird thing about clones that I've noticed is clones don't know when the person has shifted and they don't know if they're a clone. So, like, I've seen my clone in texts because I would read up after, like, I shifted back and I would, like, scroll and see, like, things that I said while I was in my DR and my clone would literally be like oh I didn't shift last night my shifting attempt failed because in this reality I'm still walking around and just being present of this reality so I'm not aware that I've shifted even though my awareness is in my DR I'm just like yeah I, I didn't shift last night I guess it just like wasn't my night but in reality I'm in my DR clones also can't take over anything or do anything weird some people have thought that like i said it's literally just you it's kind of like you on autopilot really but you're not exactly on autopilot if that makes sense i hope this cleared a lot up for some people and i hope this was helpful and as always drink water